Okay, happy Halloween, 724. It's US 99, Chicago's hottest country. It's Jason and Katie in the morning. And let, let's just put, put him on right now. It's the award-winning psychic and medium. His name is John Capello. John, first of all, welcome to the show. Happy Halloween. Yes, yeah, same to you. Thank, Thank you. you for letting me be on your show. Oh, well, well, of course. Real quickly, what's the difference between a psychic and a medium? Um, a psychic sees the energy solely around the client or the person that they're working with in mm-hmm. front of them. A medium senses a presence beyond their personal space. Uh, so that could be any kind of an entity, whether it be a spirit or maybe an ET or you know a, a, an angel or a guide or uh, uh, entities. Uh, so that's what that's what mediums do, and they communicate with them. They they sense their presence. We know that you are award winning. Can we ask you what award that you have won before, or where you got that from? Okay. Uh, I was voted the number one male psychic in the United States uh, in, um, in a uh, popularity contest uh, in 2017. And uh, I've won uh, 14 awards on my books and uh, my publications. So uh, that's where I've uh, won awards. I won a national award for my first book, Open the Mind, Exercise the Soul. And it won uh, several other awards as well. And then I've uh, won awards for my uh, psychic development uh, workbook, and that's Soul Exercises for the uh, for the Open Mind. And then my uh, I, I I have a book on grief, and I, I continue with the theme Open the Mind. Uh, but that book is called Open the Mind, Heal the Heart. Uh, and then I recently uh, produced a. Uh, a children's book, uh, which is called "Mom." There's an angel in the kitchen, uh, and oh uh, all of all of those are on Amazon. Okay. And uh, well, let's and, get uh, let's get right to the let's get right to the readings this morning, okay. John. Uh, all right. A lot of people sure. want to talk to you. Let's check in with Yorkville right now. Uh, Lucy, you're on with John Capello. He's a medium and psychic. What's your question? Uh, good morning, Jason and Katie. I listen to you guys every morning. Thank oh, you. thank uh, you so much. Question. I just want to know if they're here. I mean, okay, L- Lucy, have you been crying recently? I have. Okay, uh, because uh, has there been multiple losses around you? Yes. Okay, is this like mom and dad, and, and you haven't lost a pet or anything? Have you? Has there been because I'm just seeing like three entities so far around you? Um, but right uh, but it just just seems like uh, you you know you've had a very close family, and so there's been some trauma here and some there's still some shock but there's uh, also this this grieving this uh, uh, up and down uh, uh, crying and and trying to uh, get yourself grounded uh, but is there dad in spirit uh, in-law uh, in da- uh, father-in-law okay okay because it just feels like you were close to him is that correct yep okay uh, this is a man that says wants you to know that it's okay. He says that uh, everything is going to be okay for you. He says, you know, uh, when you lose someone that close, it just knocks you off your balance. And uh, and he says that uh, he says that pretty soon things are going to be better for you. And it just looks like, in some way, you're going to be take, kind of taking a leadership role. Um, he says that uh, others are depending on you. Uh, it's almost like you are the emotional um, center of the family or you're becoming that. And so he says that uh, you're stronger than you realize that you are. And um, and he just uh, is very proud of you and sends his love to you. So I hope that's a little bit of a help. What's today for him? Uh, is this a birthday or some type of anniversary? His birthday. His birthday, okay. Uh, because he is, uh, he's celebrating with you. He says, uh, thank you for being there for me. And, uh, he likes, uh, does he like, uh, that, uh, uh, candy corn, uh, you know, the little orange things that did he, that was, he, did he have a sweet tooth? Before you answer that, Lucy, nobody likes that, John. <laughs> uh, but, but let's, but hold on. Let's, let's get her answer right now. Lucy, did he like candy corn? He did. Oh my <laughs> God. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, that is okay. All right, Lucy, thank you so much for the call. John, you're legit. No wonder you've written books. No wonder you've won awards. If you want a reading right now for free with John Capello, 
Here's our phone number, 312-946-4995. More with John coming up next. More with our award-winning psychic here on US 99. It's John Capello. Uh, John, you ready to take another one here with us? Let's go. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's check in with Kendra in Valpo right now. Kendra in Valparaiso, you're on with Jason and Katie on US 99. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> okay, and I'm, we're, we're just going to be quiet and let John take it from here. Okay. Hey, Kendra, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Fine, fine. Kendra, do you uh, are you a late night person, or do you get up real early in the morning? I know it's early now, but but do you like to uh, to do you like the uh, the energy of uh, of low lights or or darkness around you? <laughs> to, Definitely, I'm more of a late night person. <laughs> you're more of a late night person. Okay. Yeah. Also, I think that you're a creative individual. Do you um, uh, have you ever wanted to write songs, or have you ever wanted to get into entertainment business, or anything like that? Because it just seems like you know you're you uh, uh, have some natural gifts uh, in in that particular area. Did you ever want to do anything like that? So I like writing. I think I'd be a little nervous of like being in the spotlight, but I do like to write. You like to write, so you're a person that. Uh, doesn't need the spotlight but you can help others get into the spotlight does that make sense yeah okay all right do you have a question for me or anything are you real close to your dad i am yeah okay because it just seems like uh you and your dad uh, kind of think alike and that uh you uh may have a little telepathic uh uh energy between the two of you and uh you know that's always a very special gift and uh, it just seems that uh, both of you have the same sense of humor as well. Is that my, is that correct? Yeah, for the most part. We for the most part, okay. <laughs> right, so. daughter, dad do, yeah. Hey, John, let yeah. me ask you this. Can, is, is there something that we could ask Kendra right mm-hmm. now that like would could possibly help with the reading? Or should we not ask her anything? It's just this, you just need to hear her voice. I just so need I to hear her voice. Too, if she has a question, we can see where the energy takes. Yeah, yeah. What's your question, Kendra? Yeah, so I've lost two really close best friends in the past couple of years, and just wondering, you know, if they're still around and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, was there an accident around one of them? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, was this a male? Um, no, but a male caused it. A male caused it? Okay, because there's this heavy uh, male yeah, energy. Uh, but, uh, but it was, so this was a girlfriend that you lost in an accident. Uh, was this like a car accident or, uh, because it just, just seemed like, boom, you know, there was just, just, uh, uh like so, uh, something very quick. Is that right? So she was actually murdered by him. Mur- boom. Okay. Boom. Uh, like, yeah, he shot her. He what? He shot her. He shot her. Okay. Boom. Okay. That's, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, well, uh, she, um, uh, there's just a lot of shock around, uh, the, the situation. I, uh, of course it was unexpected on her part. Um, I, I, she may have been having some trouble with him, but I don't feel like she ever felt like, uh, uh, he would ever stoop to doing what he did. Um, uh, there wasn't a child involved or anything, was it? She didn't have any children or anything, did she? No, she didn't, but she was, I mean, she was really young. We were was, 19 years old, so I mean, at that point, we were kind of still so, children. So she was the innocent one. She's the innocent. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh, uh, she, um, I don't know, she just seemed like she had a really uh, 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 bubbly personality, that she was uh, very charismatic in her way, and and uh, in some ways, did she was she a very popular person? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. because it just her. seemed like almost cheerleader-like. Uh, someone that uh you know a lot of times when 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 you have someone with that much energy and charisma sometimes people who are negative uh, are attracted to them and uh they uh they they steal some of their energy so this is a person the person that harmed her wanted to kind of own her and uh not let her uh be uh who she was and uh and she was resisting that but she was trying to resist it in a nice way it's just that mm-hmm. uh, this is a person that uh, uh, didn't have control of himself. Okay, so hopefully yeah, so right. uh, he's being held held accountable. Is he, is, is he in jail? He is, yeah. 
Okay. Well, uh, yeah. thank God. You know, it's, uh, I'm so sorry uh, that that happened. But boom is what I what I heard around her. Yeah. Uh, the uh, other person is this also a, a, a woman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this person was there illness around her, or uh, because there's just something uh, that just seemed to kind of consume her. Okay. Yeah, she, uh, she just passed away. Yeah. She just passed away. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, can we can we pick up can we pick up this reading right after this next song? Oh, yeah. Whatever you like. Does that just John? Does that throw you off? Well, I, you know, as long as they stay, yeah. Uh, as long as they, yeah. I, I, uh, go ahead, just do what you need to do. And we'll okay. Work with it. Okay, let's just uh, pick back up right here with our award winning psychic and medium, John Capello. You're listening to US 99, Jason and Katie in the morning, and uh, Kendra from Valparaiso is on with us. Okay. Thank you for your patience. You're, you're still on with John. Uh, go ahead, John, take it away. Okay. Um, Kendra, the, this, uh, this lady that passed away, was she a relative or uh, just um, a friend? No, we were. We were like basically sisters, though. We lived together for years. Uh, we, okay. been, you know, we were best friends forever. Okay, because it, it just feels like once again, you know, there was this soul connection, uh, almost like a, a relative, like a sister or, or someone like that. And and uh, so if she had an illness. Uh, the initial shock of uh, learning that she was ill was uh, was you know was just such a big surprise. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, and uh, it just seems like um, that that they never really got control over the illness, and that uh, she kind of spiraled down, and it was it was a very um, heart heart wrenching uh, to watch someone you love so much uh, kind of uh, deteriorate like that. But she yeah. is indicating to me that uh, once again uh, uh, the relief of. Uh, of not having the illness and the memories of the of the of the situation that she had been in. Uh, also, she just says that uh, there at the end, she kind of wanted to isolate herself. She she uh, uh, for lack of a better uh, term, that she wanted a little bit of privacy because uh, 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 she just really couldn't uh, be herself any longer. So this was a difficult situation. And uh, but it seems like you did the best you could to to be there for her uh, during this uh, during during the difficulties of her last day. So uh, she just wants to thank you and and uh, and just to let you know how much she loves you for all that you did for her. <laughs> did you hold her hand? Does, does, it, does this make you? I know you're crying, but maybe happy tears. Does this make you maybe a little relief for you there, Kendra? Yeah, it does. It does. She was, you know, we were only 22. She got diagnosed with brain cancer. And, yeah, um, right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got just a little bit of relief from that. We're on with our award-winning psychic on US 99, John Capello. He's a medium and psychic. We want to get as many people on this morning as we possibly can. If, if, you, want a, if you want a reading, 312-946-4995, and we're going to put a, a link to... Um, all of John's information on all of our socials at US 99 Chicago. More with John on Halloween 2019 coming up next. Jason and Katie in the morning on US 99, Chicago's hottest country. 312-946-4995 is our number this morning. Got our uh, psychic and medium John Capello on with us. Jennifer, you're in Morris. Good morning. Good morning. I love you guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We love you too. And how about John Capello, this award-winning psychic and medium this morning? Pretty exciting stuff. Yep. Okay. You're on with them right now. We're just going to let John take it from here. My dad and my brother passed away, and I'm wondering if they're together and what they're doing together. Yes, uh, brother came in first. Um, was there something sudden about the way your brother passed? He had pancreatic cancer and died okay. four months later. Yeah, he just, uh, uh, something that uh, just, once again, took him by surprise. But this is a brother that uh, I feel like the two of you were pretty close. Is that correct? We were, very. Okay. Uh, and so he says, uh, don't forget me. He says, especially uh, all the things that we used to do together. Did y'all like go bowling together and do do uh, just different uh, activities like that? Because... It just seems like in some ways y'all are best friends in addition to just being brother and sister. 
Um, we rode his Harley and drank beer together a lot. <laughs> okay, well, y'all did stuff together, okay. So that was the rolling, okay? <laughs> rolling down the road. <laughs> rolling down the road. Yep. Okay. We were safe. We were always very safe, but yeah, he, we rode Harleys. Okay, did he have a tattoo, a special tattoo for someone on him? He did. He sure okay, did. Uh, well, motorcycles, John. I mean, come right. on. <laughs> okay, it's well, gimme. sorry. <laughs> because he keeps pointing to a, to a, a motorcycle, uh, I mean, a, 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 a tattoo. And uh, and so, you know, of course, uh, you know, when we talk about motorcyclists, it does, it, it does open a door. So do you have cats around you? I do. Any, I have one. Okay, yeah. cats. Okay, because I'm seeing the cats. And now, Dad. Dad seemed to be. There seemed to be some wisdom around Dad. Was Dad a wise man? Yeah, that's funny you say that. Yeah, he had a lot of wisdom. Brother and Dad um, are together. Uh, they may not have always agreed on things as fathers and sons do. <laughs> Often don't agree, but uh, <laughs> but it just seems to me that the two of them uh, are together. And if there was any kind of issue between them. They are certainly reconciling, and they are they are making amends. Okay, uh, are they mom, riding their motorcycles I mean, in the Black Hills? Well, well, what I see, and I'm not a psychic or medium, but what I see is uh, your brother driving the motorcycle, and then he's got that <laughs> sidecar attached to it with your dad right next to him. <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> okay. Dad, um, gosh, uh, Dad did a lot of stuff. So, did Dad ever want to grow things, or was he good with plants or anything like that? Yeah, he would have a garden every year when we were kids, and so when we got in trouble, he would make us weed the garden. Okay, <laughs> he, did he ever grow carrots and stuff like that, or potatoes and stuff? Yeah, rhubarb, all that, yep. What about cannabis? Because okay. I know he's in a motorcycle riding. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but if he was alive today, he probably In January would. 2020, that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would be legal. <laughs> 841, it's our psychic and medium, John Capella, with us on US 99. He was uh, with us on with us last hour for the entire hour. We've got him for just a few more minutes this morning on US 99. It's Jason and Katie. Hey, Brittany, you're in Marengo. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Happy Halloween. You're on with the award-winning psychic and medium, John Capello, right now. All right. Good morning, guys. I love your show. Oh, thank you so much. I was, hey, I'm not a psychic, I'm not a medium, but I I was predicting she was going to say that, John. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Brittany, go, Brittany, go ahead. Um, Hi, Brittany. I guess I have a few entities I feel like a lot of, and I just want to make sure that I like that with my feelings, I guess. Okay, Brittany, do you have a little dog? I do. Okay, all right. Uh, because I wanted to just kind of get my, my, uh, my, bearings uh, you uh, you seem to have angels around you um, you seem to attract angels uh, so um, if you have other entities uh, it's there what I'm hearing is that you are protected uh, because I, I feel like you have a lot of natural psychic ability yourself and so it wouldn't surprise me if you um, didn't uh, even have some precognitive ability um, yeah. but uh, but you ha- it just feels like you have Archangel Michael around you uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if you're not w- awakened in the middle of the night with uh, okay. uh, may- maybe uh, some entities or, or spirits yeah, uh, wanting to contact you. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now, also, one of the things that you might be noticing is numbers, um, uh-huh. like 1111 and stuff like that. Those are angel numbers, and those are numbers that I think you should pay attention to because those are messages. And uh, so, once again, I, I'd like to see you kind of tap into your own psychic abilities because uh, I do think that you're gifted in those areas. Okay. Okay? Cool. And, All right. and also, I think, Brittany, maybe you should hit up Rivers Casino or something because it's the 11s. Like, maybe you should play craps because <laughs> I think, yeah. you know, yo, 11. <laughs> Yeah, do you guys remember when I called about the snow globes turning on? Yeah, that was on our ghost story segment last week. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, like I had that like girl from when I was little and she followed me. Yeah. So there's like more I validation. I guess, yeah. right? Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> Brittany, thank you so much for the call. John, you're the man. All right, let's keep this going. Three one two nine four six four ninety nine five. Brittany, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, guys. It's Jason and Katie in the morning, 855 on Chicago's Hottest Country. This is the award-winning John Capello on with us. You're a psychic medium. You're an author. You're a lecturer. John, good morning. Good morning. 
How happy are you? Halloween. Happy, yeah, happy <laughs> Halloween, man. And let's just get right into this thing. We've never met. Katie, you've never met John, have you? No. First Aaron? time talking to him. No, never. Scotty? I, I know John. Oh, know okay, John. okay. But, John, but John's him. never met. I mean, no, John's yeah. never met me face, to, me face to face. So let's just get a quick reading here. Not to be self-serving. Jason, um, uh, the first thing that comes to me is, is that you're a deep thinker. Um, you're a person that, um, that likes to think of all the angles. You like to have a, a large perspective of things. And, uh, but there's also uh, a, uh, a sense of creativity around you. Do you, uh, do you have children or do you, are you interested in, in uh, working with children? I love children. I don't have children of my own. I do have a nine-year-old nephew, Hudson. Okay. Well, it just seems that uh, you have this uh, this this creative side to you. This side that uh, uh, is um, a, a, a comedian. Uh, you're 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 able to uh, to see um, uh, the bright side of things. You're able to um, to bring uh, joy and laughter in, in maybe even dark situations. So uh, th- this is the energy that I have around you. Has there been anyone in the military around you? Is there a father or grandfather in the military? No, my uncle uh, served, though, my mom's brother. Okay, is he in spirit? No, no, he's, he's with uh, us. Are, well, are close, he, are, he lives in Detroit. <laughs> you, he lives in Detroit, okay. Are you close to your uncle then? Uh, no, I mean, not too terribly close, we, but okay. we get to, you know, I see him a couple times a year. You do? Okay. All right. Well, Uncle Joe. Just, just, Uncle Joe, okay. <laughs> well, it just, just uh, you know, when, when you have a loss in the family, the family sometimes gets a little bit closer for a while at least. But, uh, but Jason, uh, uh, it just seems like you like the outdoors. You're a person that uh, is, tries to be as active as you can be. Uh, and um, a person that uh, is a hard worker. Uh, so you, you are you a little bit of a workaholic? Uh, not at all. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I like so. to work because I don't even consider. I don't even. I consider work a hobby. So I, we, no. I just. I love what I do. Okay. So well, that's what you're always doing then. <laughs> so, yes. So uh, those are the things that I, I'm kind of seeing. Thank around. you. Anything yeah. from my mom at all? Okay. Well, your mother is um, now. It just she's talking about some type of special tribute. Did you do some type of special spiritual tribute to her or something like that? Because it, it seems like there was something very spiritual, spirit, strong spiritual connection between you and mom. Is that correct? Uh, very much so. And I do uh, the, all the time. Uh, the anniversary of her death was on August fourth, seven years ago, and I did. I had a tribute on Instagram to her. No, I understand, and uh, so your mother is very proud of you. She says that uh, uh, she doesn't want you to worry about her. Um, she says that I'm, she's doing okay and that uh, she is healing. So I don't know if there was an illness around her or not, but was there cancer or some type of, uh, of illness around her? Yeah, she had uh, endometrial uterine cancer. Okay, uh, because uh, she says she's, you know, she's finally healing and she's finally free. And, uh, and she says that, uh, she, says that uh, she didn't realize that passing away would be so liberating. Um, and uh, and she says that um, she must be with her father. There's a male figure around her. Uh, you're making me cry. Uh, yeah, we uh, lost my grandfather uh, quite a while ago, her dad.